His save percentage numbers last year were right at the top of the league, Doc. The proof that he's a top guy, that's not right. The proof that he's a great guy to have on the ice can be found in his plus-minus numbers. Last year, he was at the top of the NHL. Hi, I'm Darren Pang, color analyst for us. Holy jumping, you know. Page 36? Okay. You're a jerk. <laughs> I can't go back that far. That was about a week ago. Man, oh man! Phoenix will move on to the Stanley Cup Finals with a victory here tonight. They'll probably be hearing from the league on that one and a possible suspension. We have a whistle. What's the call? Penalty shot. Loads it up and fires. Hit the post with the shot. Now say how do you like this? Okay, ready. Okay. One more time, please. Yep. Hi, I'm Mike Emery, play-by-play -play announcer for 989 Sports NHL Face-Off 2000. It all happens in the course of about three days. Uh, we, I come into a studio and I wind up reading the names of a number of players describing a number of actions that would normally come up in the course of any game that I was broadcasting. The interesting thing is to see the words that I've been using for 26 years actually written down on paper and then wanting to make sure that I do the words that I would normally do spontaneously, do them justice when they're written down. What a cross check! He'll feel that one tomorrow. People have actually come downstairs, they've told me in homes and thought that there was a game on that I was doing at 10 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday when actually it was one of the youngsters in the house playing a video game. This is the place that we want to really jump the other two right there. Ten feet up over the blue line and ten feet this side of it, like their own side of the blue line. Now you've got a situation where the goaltender is a little bit distracted because he, he's got the puck on the side of him. He's not looking straight ahead, he's looking on the side. The defensemen have to turn a little bit, so they they've got to worry about who's going to be coming in. And we practice this a few times. Well, I checked with my kids, and they thought it was a good idea. No, I, I, uh, I thought it was uh, something unique and a chance to, uh, you know, to put something into the into the game and hope that it uh, enhances the product because uh, that's what we we're trying to do: is make it more realistic, make it more uh, real life, and uh, I think it can be.